when the recession passes, there will still be rising numbers of people with long-term uh, conditions. So it's incumbent on us all to make sure that the investment uh, strategies we make now uh, will uh, ameliorate the long-term uh, impact uh, on the economy and on the individuals. I think, crucially, uh, the emphasis on self-management, uh, uh, both as a, um, a vehicle for people to take independence, independent control of their lives, but also uh, to allow local authorities uh, to focus on expanding opportunities there is also going to be very, very important. I think probably the, the biggest um, benefit that they get from Pink Ladies is by meeting other people in similar situations with similar problems. It's given me a lot more confidence because before I, I wouldn't have even walked in a door on my own, waiting to make friends. If I had a phone number, they'd need to come out and get me. So now we can just walk into places and I'm all right, I don't need to panic about it. And nobody criticises, nobody sort of laughs like she doesn't say, oh, imagine that, drinking all that. Can nobody criticises you. When I first came into Pink Ladies, I was referred to from my CPN. He said, this is a great thing, you know, there's a lot of women that have been on it that have really improved their lives. Now, when I first came to that first meeting, I was terrified. I almost think I lost through kind of a lot of depression and everything, I lost my confidence, I lost social skills, you know, like being in a group situation. Um, and I started with the Pink Ladies and went to the first group and I noticed it, and my family noticed a huge difference for me from the very first day to the last day of the group. It's, it's, it's letting the girls know that they've got choices, they can make their own decisions, they can say this is what I want to happen to me, but will you will you help us along the way? That that to me that's what self management is about. It's about actually saying we're here to support you, we'll balance you, you know, help you out. But you can do it on your own. You can go out there and have a good life, you know, have a fulfilled life. You can do it all by yourself, you know, but we're here. I feel I feel alive again, you know. I just felt I was fading into the background. There's things you can say to friends that are supporting you. Family are giving you wonderful support, but from a different angle. I, I knew they were an understanding of what was going through, but I didn't feel a widow. I felt, you know, almost a girl again. I can't possibly be a girl at my age, but um, it gave me a completely different outlook on life. I want to make sure that the parties understand that they need the third sector as equal partners in the process of delivering services to the Scottish population. And in particular, we need to see projects that build uh, individual support within the community for people with long-term conditions. Revive MA Support is a multiple sclerosis charity and we've been based in Maryhill, our centre, for 26 years now and we provide a wide range of different types of support and therapies and information for anyone living with the condition. We also provide services for not just people with MS but people who live with MS, i.e. their partners, their family members and people who care for them. The therapies range from physiotherapy to complementary therapies, to speech and language therapy, counselling, whether that be one-to-one -one or in groups. We have an MS specialist nurse and we have a wide range of different types of exercise classes. <laughs> to come out to meet with other people who have a similarity of experience um, and really as some people have actually said to us when they come here they leave their MS at the door and they feel normal when they come here and they can participate in the services that we offer them and they enjoy themselves. Well, I think it's really important to emphasise the scale of the sector. 5% uh, of the, the Scottish workforce is in the voluntary sector. Over a million volunteers uh, in the sector and a very significant uh, turnover, uh, equivalent to the Scottish tourism industry. Uh, and I think uh, when the independent budget review is calling for a greater um, role for the voluntary and third sectors, then the statutory sector has to take account of that. Uh, the problem is, however, that the Scottish uh, voluntary sector 
is very often the first port of call for cuts. Uh, and that would be um, a strange investment decision to make when you want that sector, that nimble, fast-moving, innovative sector, to take some of the burden of public sector uh, delivery. It's a, it's a matter of social justice. People with long-term conditions are more likely to experience debt, they're more likely to experience unemployment, they're more likely to uh, live in deprived areas. At a time when public sector cuts uh, are being implemented, it's crucial for politicians in Scotland to make sure that these cuts do not further adversely affect the life opportunities of people with long-term conditions.